Dear Miss Letitia Wright, are we glad you come? Sorry, no man, Letitia. For the page, a book in a posa book about a sick yak. Waku pekro awi asama. Do you follow up with Dr. Letitia Wright? Do you follow up with Kurume or Wapuho and Gayana Taka? Do you follow any Yamako or Victoria Petaloro? Or Kone Eropa and Puehota? Maburika Toshikwa Letitia. Miarman, Miarman Letitia. Morube Erepangu Anakoreta. Wakube Erepangu Abadayak Letitia. Kirwanye Mumokihara Letitia. Ta wole roma kenasu anna mohtobo foko. Awe utan telefona hara. Kaimen wada papan pegar. Ine uri wakaya Letitia Miktane ateis tamahuta arai baukaya Letitia. We are delighted that you have taken it upon yourself to rep Guyana everywhere you go and every time you get the chance. One area we Guyanese are not so great at either understanding for ourselves or explaining to the world is the question of our languages. We proudly pronounce that we are the only English speaking country in South America. Of course, we all know that the only language most Guyanese speak every day with our families and friends and in our workplaces is Creolese. And some people like to fool us that it is broken English, bad English, or just English with careless pronunciation. Or we tell ourselves that it isn't a language because people in Buxton speak a totally different language to the people in the quarantine, even though me to swim in trench means exactly the same thing anywhere you go in the country. Or we say that the way we speak cannot be written accurately only because we don't know the writing system for Creolese and have never learned it or been taught it. To borrow from what the Constitution of Haiti says about Haitian Creole, Creolese, our Creolese, is the language which unites all Guyanese. This is a language created by our African ancestors in conditions of slavery, inherited by Indian, Chinese, and Portuguese indentured servants, who have added words covering every single feature of culture, food, music, and folk tradition that makes us who we are. English just happens to be, for now, the only language of the courts, government administration, and formal education. That, of course, can change if we, as Guyanese, make it so. And then there are the other Guyanese languages, the languages of the indigenous peoples of this country. The main ones are Akawayo, Arikuna, Carinya or Carib, Lokono or Arawak, Makushi, Patamuna, Waiwai, Wapichan or Wapishana, and Warao. These are the languages of the ancestral people of this continent who kept this country safe and sound for those of us who have since landed or were landed on its shores. Like Creolese, these languages passed down from generation to generation and make us who we are. You are reported to have said that you regret losing your Guyanese accent. We know that behind that statement is regret at losing your native language, Creolese. You have not lost it. It is buried inside of you under years of being forced to talk differently. But the language of your mother and grandmother lies within you, just waiting for you to dig it up and display it to the world. In fact, 
we hear it rising to the surface ever so often, like when you were reminiscing about your favorite Guyanese foods on Jumpstart Radio. It's just a matter of time, Miss Letitia, and a bit of practice. We note the excitement of speakers of South African Xhosa, Mexican Yucatecan Mayan, and Haitian Creole, when they hear their long ignored and disrespected languages spoken in Wakanda forever. The fact that the Black Panther movies show not only people who look like me, but people who talk like me, is important for the children of the world. We are lucky to have you at the center of this. We can be forgiven for dreaming of hearing our languages in the next Black Panther sequel. These would be the languages of a hidden multilingual civilization with a population made up of Amerindian, African and South Asian people using Creolese and the nine indigenous languages of Guyana. Maybe they might use the knowledge embodied in these languages to create their own vibranium from scratch with that mineral coming from their inner spaces rather than from outer space. We have, of course, recently been gifted with the vibranium of the real world, oil and gas. But even as we play with that two-edged sword that is our vibranium, we need the inner understanding and acceptance of self, which can only come with an acceptance of our languages. We dream that you, as our representative, can help us see and hear ourselves for who we really are. We dream that you, in the role you have adopted for yourself to rep Guyana, can rep the Guyanese languages too. We dream for you to become a patron of the Guyanese Languages Unit at the University of Guyana and carry our language torch to the world. We dream that that glow will reflect back on Guyana as we work in the dark to find ourselves beneath the rubble left behind by slavery, indentureship and colonialism. We know we are dreaming, but in the world of the imagination, all things are possible. And all our languages have a word for dream. We love you, Miss Letitia. Charlene Wilkinson and Trevon Baird for Creolese. Sharo Albert for Arikuna. Cleva Joseph for Akawayo. Akim Henry for Kalinia. Skita Thomas for Lokono. Gloria Duarte for Makushi. Ovid Williams for Patamona, Bernicia Chekima for YY, Vivian Alex Marco for Wapichan, and Silverius Perry for Wapichan, Silverius from the Intercultural Bilingual Education Organization, and Derek Henry for Warao.